In this video, we are going to have a look at two concepts. One, the UI component called the list of values that displays a set of records to the user in order for them to select one record as part of a data entry process. And two, the value set component that provides the underlying data for the list of values. We're going to give you an introduction to the list of values control and the underlying value sets. We're also going to see how we can create new value sets and list of values, and then how to associate a list of values to item uh, inside our user interface. Now, the easiest thing for us to do is to start by showing what a list of values looks like. Here we have the master detail demo application inside Eclipse. So let's fire up Tomcat and load the app. As usual, we need to log into the database uh, to launch the workspace and then launch the app from the workspace menu. For this topic, we are not concerned about the two panels at the top, but we are concerned about the part at the bottom where we have a grid, table or multi-record block, however you like to think about it. There are two specific columns to look at here. One, manager ID, which is read only and manager. Uh, the second field manager has some structured data in it and we cannot enter any characters. However, the user can press the F9 key to bring up the list of values window. This is a modal window with a simple data grid inside and a search box uh, at the top for the user to uh, filter some of the data uh, if they need to. So on selecting a record and pressing OK, uh, there are two data items returned from that list of values and placed into the previous grid, as you can now see. Let's show it again by creating a new record in the grid. Let's give them a name, load the list of values uh, to choose the manager. Now let's give them a role, a half decent salary and uh, a date from when they started. Uh, we can just press Control S to save. All done. Now let's go back to Eclipse and see how this works behind the scenes. Uh, we'll start by opening the uh, EMP task in the Task Explorer. Now do remember to right click on the task config file to open this task directly. The two significant components are here. The list of values, or LOV for short, is essentially a simple UI control defined in XML in a single file, typically in the task root folder. Here is the example we just looked at. The list of values is bound to a record group, which is another name for the value set. Then there are basic attributes such as width and title. Within the list of values is a set of columns, each defined with a column title and width. When we need the list of values to return an item, we choose which column or columns we want the value from and add an attribute to say where the data should go using the convention block name dot item name. Let's now open up our value set in the model layer. Similar to the list of values, a value set is defined in XML using a really straightforward structure. A value set has an ID and a name, and a set of columns including name, type, and size. That defines the structure of the value set, and now we need to get the data, uh, which we do via a standard SQL query. Let's now see how we can associate the list of values to a UI control. If we have a look at the panel definition, we'll see there is no mention of the list of values at all. This is because it's not truly view logic, and we want to keep these screen definitions as clean as we can. The association of the list of values to an item actually happens in the task struct file. We can see here the entry for the manager item and the corresponding reference to the love emps list of values. 
Foundations thankfully takes care of everything else for us. Let's try making our own list of values. Now there are a few different ways of doing this, uh, but we'll start by making the value set first. So we right click in the Task Explorer's value set branch and create a new static value set in this case. Uh, we'll create a simple list of names that the uh, user has to choose from. So let's create a column called surname and add some data entries like this. When we finished, we need to save our task by pressing Control S. Next, let's create the list of values by right clicking in the Task Explorer here and selecting a New Love. We can either create a new value set here or we can select an existing one like this. We can set some basic data for the list of values. For example, let's tell frames to render the modal window uh, with a smaller size than this. Let's also tell foundations uh, where the return data value is given. In this case, we'll just choose the emp last name item. We finish the wizard and save the task. Now we need to associate the new list of values to an item in the task. So let's associate it to the last name item by adding the uh, LOV equals attribute like this. Let's test this out by firing up Tomcats again and loading the app. Here we go. Let's get focus in one of the last name fields of our emp block at the bottom here. Now let's press F9 to launch the list of values box like so. Nice and easy. I mean, this is pretty straightforward stuff, so let's do something a bit more complex this time. We're going to create a dynamic value set with parameterization. This allows us to add a where condition to the database query, getting the value from somewhere in the application. Back to Eclipse then, let's create a new DB value set like this. We need to connect uh, to the database first. Uh, we'll create a simple query trying to get the surnames of employees like a value uh, from a parameter. Uh, let's also get the name and query field the right way around. Now to configure the parameter, we can select it on the right here and press edit. We can then choose from a number of types of parameters and specific locations. In this case, we're just going to choose another item. And in fact, uh, we can choose the last name item. Then we should end up restricting our value set data to just the one record, which is really easy for us to check and just make sure we're doing things correctly. So again, let's finish this uh, wizard and save the task. Now let's create a new list of values with this new dynamic value set like this. Now let's associate uh, this list of values with an item in the struct file. Um, this time let's use the new list of values rather than the original one. Now it's time to fire up Tomcat again uh, to check this. Here we go. Uh, so we get a focus in the manager field, press F9, and here is our list of values using a dynamic value set uh, with an application parameter.